pen land here. Let's, let's do some of these calculations here. Here's the notion then, right? The laser light, if it's shining here and there's not a pit, okay, it shines there and back. If it shines and it hits a pit, an, ac an, ex an extra length is added to it, right? It goes down D and up D, right? That's a distance of 2D. If that added length is half a wavelength, then the laser is going to interfere with itself. It's going to be one half and one half wavelength difference in distance of path is going to cause destructive interference. So if this was constructive interference, then this one's going to be destructive interference. If this was bright, then this will be dark. Pits will come out as dark. Then all I have to do is read that the, the signal coming back as it adds onto the signal going out, right? And, and if it's dark, right, then they just turn that into a, a zero. Right? and bright is, is a 1. Okay, So let's just use this formula. It's really pretty simple. If the pits are 150 mil nanometers depth deep, what wavelength of laser light creates destructive interference relative to this depth? Well, <laughs> G2 times 150 nanometers is 1 half the wavelength. Is the answer 4 times 150? Is it? Yay. That's not so bad, is it? <laughs>